Ooh. All right, good evening. The uh, time being 7 p.m. on April 22nd, 2019. All members of the planning board being present, call this meeting to order. Uh, first item on the agenda is reorganization of the board. Take yep, we'll take nominations. Um, so the first one is the local housing partnership. Actually, you got no. to know the chair first. You start oh, with the oh, chair. Right. Yeah. The first one is the chair. It's the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I make a motion to appoint Steve Johnson as chairman. I'll second that. All in favor? All in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't give him a chance to ask. That's right. I know. I'm used to listening. Sorry. So. All right. So Steve Johnson will be the chair. Now the chair. So now okay. I'll, I'll take care of the rest of it. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So with that, congratulations. Thank you. Here we go. So, all right. So with that, we'll take nominations for the vice chair. I nominate Bob Fowler for vice chairman. Second. All right. The motion is second. Do we have any other nominations? Seeing none, all right, with that, all uh, those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed, motion carries. Congratulations, Mr. Fowler. Congratulations. Uh, now for clerk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I make a motion to nominate Vinny Fertaglia for all clerk. Right. So I have a motion made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion made and seconded. Any other nominations? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, motion carries. Congratulations, Mr. Fertaglia. The guy that gets elected. Um, so Welcome back good. after your re-election as well. Thank right. you. And then, all right, so, okay, so I'll do it in a faster fashion if I can. Does anyone have any issue with any of the um, the committees they're on? That they, you know, they don't want to be on them any longer or there's any request to be switched to anything else? Nope. So if everybody's satisfied, and just take it as one group. So we'll just uh, a motion to appoint all members to the committees they currently serve on. So move. Motion. I have a motion. Do I have a motion. second? Motion made and seconded. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed, motion carries. There aren't any new ones, right? Well, Mr. Chairman, I thought there was. I thought there was a committee going to be um, somebody from the planning board um, going on the um, the new committee that's going to look into the possible rehabbing of uh, the other property at North Street and Trahan. I know other boards have appointed. Okay. Do we know if we have an appointment to that board? Because last time we got caught up on we, the school we, building. There will, be, there will be an appointment from the planning board. I don't believe the committee has been set up yet. I, I know by the, the selectmen. The selectmen and the town manager were in preparation of setting that up. All right. So we thought there was a stipend, a stipulation on that that you could not have the same member on the can't elementary be, committee. It can't be. So, a, the only stipulation was it can't be an acting member of the elementary school board member currently. So okay. they were like somebody different. All right, so then that obviously then leaves four other members. Um, so once that's, that committee's uh, created, we'll make our appointment. And if anybody has any interest in serving on it between now and say the next meeting, let us know and then mm -hmm. we'll go from there. Uh, yeah, Mr. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Stowling is here and that meeting is postponed. <laughs> 513. Okay. All right. So, um, okay, so that takes care of the, all the real reorganization issues. So the only other, uh, the only other issue, I'll just let anyone know who's listening or here or on their way here. Um, the 1037 North Street, 1547 Andover Street, slash several other addresses, North Andover Street, um, is going to be continued to the May 13th meeting. So there'll be no um, there'll be no discussion of that item tonight. It'll be continued uh, when it comes up on the agenda later. But in case anybody's asking or thinking about that one, that one will not be discussed this evening. Mr. Chairman, that was because of the applicant requested that, correct? Correct. All right. So <laughs> moving on to agenda item B, which is approval of minutes April first, two thousand nineteen. So moved. Now we have a motion made. Do we have a second? Second. Motion made and second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, motion carries. Raise to agenda item C, committee reports, administrative actions. Do any of the members have any committee reports I'd like to make at this time? No, but I have a comment I'd like to make. Um, Anna, if you um, are dealing with Hawthorne. Mm -hmm. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Residents mm. at the, um, oh, what's the new name? At CubeSmart? Huh? CubeSmart? 
Cube Smart? No, no. no. Okay. The, the, the apartment buildings the town council lives in, um, the residents at Tuxbury Center, they put a lot of shrubbery in there over the late fall, early winter. And I was out front, so it was very noticeable. So, I mean, a lot. I would say 50 to 60% of it died. So just if they call or ask you for anything, just let them know that if you would. The board members, you drive by, you can see it. You don't have to drive in. It's just a shame because they put a lot of uh, shrubbery around all the, uh, remember when they came in with the, the new walls, new yeah. lights and yep. signs and everything? Well, the, the plants died. Oh. Mm. Unfortunately. And they're not little things like at the storage place. <laughs> okay. Thank you. you. Thank you, Anna. Yep. Just one report, Mr. Chairman, uh, if you would. I am um, a member of the local housing partnership, and I was not able to attend the last meeting due to sickness. And um, just to report that I will have something uh, at our next meeting regarding their um, local housing partnerships meeting. Uh, I know some of the issues discussed were the, um, the old police station down on Main Street mm -hmm. and the um, number of other issues regarding affordable housing. So. All right. Good. No other committee reports. Uh, administrative actions. Uh, we request for a bond release for Heatherwood, 1624 Main Street. Do we have anyone here for that? Rob Sorley with Spago Technics, representing Heatherwood. All right. Do um, you have anything that you want to? Nothing. Okay. So, um, do we have the total on the bond? Yeah. Five thousand. All right. Okay. So the bond is five thousand. Any members with any thoughts or comments on this before we? Yeah. My only comment is uh, we've had a lot of correspondence on the. The uh, shrubbery in that site, are they done? My understanding is they're done and it's been reviewed by the town. Okay, I think that's okay. Anybody else with anything? No problem. All set. Looks good. All set. All set. Thank All right. you. Yep. So I'm glad we finally got to a point where yep. we, uh, we can close this out. Um, it's been a long, long, <laughs> long process. Long. Um, but I think where we finally got to is... Everybody here is happy with that, so um, I hope you guys uh, can keep up with that, and everybody will stay happy. Mm. All right, so with that, take a motion on the bond release. So moved. I have a motion made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion made and second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed, motion carries. All set. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Have a good evening. Thank you. All right. So, oh, sorry. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm thinking like C. <laughs> All right, uh, moving on to agenda item C3, 90 Fraser Lane, uh, approval not required plan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, board members for the record, Dick Cuco representing the Davis family. Actually, the Davis family owns lot 18 and 19, and uh, when they installed the pool, they didn't realized that the cabana was a structure that needed to meet the uh, setbacks. So uh, fortunately, they own both lots, so we had to put a little jog in the lot line. Uh, the reason that we just we did it with a jog and not kind of with a meandering line is we needed to leave enough contiguous upland on lot 19A so that it was still a conforming lot, so um, both lots have the proper area, frontage, and contiguous upland, and they meet the perimeter ratio. All right, uh, with that, um, Mr. Vitalia. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You know, I knew there had to be something more than what was <laughs> explained in this process because of the, the jog, and I said, there has to be something going on with the pool there. 
to uh, to make them put this jog into the uh, into the plot the lot lines and so forth. So, but with that, you know, so we have enough footage now to allow that to be. Actually, what'll happen is when you drive by there, the fence will be straight because the shed will be right up against the fence. So they thought that they could do that, and the, because the fence the shed is over 120 square feet, it you know it can't. So um, so. Fortunately, they own both lots. <laughs> all right, with that, I'm off, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Mr. Delaney? I'm off, sir. Uh, Mr. Fowler. I bet this is a case of where the uh, <laughs> company that installed the pool showed the building inspector the pool <laughs> and didn't show him the... Uh... Well, uh, what happens, Mr. Fowler, is that everybody, after the pool goes in, they say, why are we looking at all those ugly pipes and mm -hmm. filters and what have you, when we should contain it. And then the other thing is, uh, you know, you, you, you have to buy chemicals, so you don't want to leave those outside either. So, uh, you know. I'm all set. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Rudd. All set, thank you. Chair is all set as well. Um, that, do we have a motion on the endorsement of the a and plan? I'll make a motion to approve. All right, so we have a motion second, to endorse second. the a and R. We have a second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, motion carries. Is this it behind us? Yes, I think um, I think Caitlin likes to make a copy of it afterwards, so we'll, okay. I'll pick it up whenever she says it. Very good. All right, thank you. Everybody remembers to sign that before we head out tonight. Yep. All right. All right, so this will be the first one of these that I've been here for, um, so it's a little new to me. Um, we're going to go into an executive session at this point. What that means is this will not be televised. Um, as I understand it, the minutes are still kept for this, but kept, they're not put out the way the normal minutes are. Uh, when the executive session is concluded, we will come back into our, um, our public session and finish the, ag the agenda items. A reminder again that agenda item E, which is the North Street, Andover Street, will be uh, continued, which would leave just our old business, new business correspondence, planner's report, uh, anything else members want to discuss at that time. But that'll be done again public once we come back from the exec executive session. So with that, I know people are home, you know, chopping at the bit to come back right. and watch this on TV <laughs> when we come back. I would recommend that we lay that on the table for five minutes. You want to go through and the, the other stuff? Okay. And tell everybody that when we come back, there'll be no more. Gonna... All right, that's fine. I'll right. do that. I just I was I wasn't sure whether there's a few things in the packet that I didn't want to hold, hold them off yeah. longer, but that's fine. All right. So then with that, I'll take a motion to so we'll put on hold the executive session. So we're going to stay in um, in public session now to finish out the agenda items. We'll then go to executive session, at which point we will only return long enough to adjourn the meeting. So there won't be any more. Um, in the meeting except for an adjournment once we come back. So we will continue with the public at this. I'm sorry. So do I have a motion to lay agenda item D on the table? So move. I have a second. Second. Motion made. Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. So then we will move on to agenda item E, which is 1037 North Street, 1547 Andover Street, etc. cetera. Um, and the applicant has requested that we continue this meeting to uh, our May 13th meeting which will be at 7.20. Do I have a motion? Motion. I have a motion made. Do I have a second? Second. Motion made and seconded. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, motion carries. So we will hear that at our next scheduled meeting. All right. Moving on to agenda item old business. Is there any old business anyone wishes to discuss at this time? All right. Yeah, Mr. Jim, I have one question. Oh, I yep. want to know where we stand with the sidewalk committee and program in town. And it's to get, getting to be this time of year whether we can do some work on the streets and sidewalks. Uh, I just don't know, don't know where we are as, as far as that goes with the sidewalk committee and if, what the plans are going forward from now till whenever. So we so look into that, Anna, at some point and bring it up at our next meeting and have some discussion on that. Uh, that'd be great. All right. Yep, sure. All right. Very good. Any, um, any other old business? No? All right. Any new business anyone wishes to discuss? Right, seeing none, correspondence. We have a uh, larger than usual package of correspondence, I think, in here, right? <clears throat> Does anybody have anything on the uh, correspondence package that they want to discuss? 
Kenda, you have anything to um, add? So for Cube Smart, Cube Smart located at 395 Bluebird Street, I'm just looking. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, give me one second. So is there anything else that you wanted to add to the correspondence section? Because I've got that first. Oh, right, right. And then we'll um, go to the other one. Um, nope, I'm available for questions. If okay, everybody's good with those? Yeah, I have one comment, though, okay. if I may. Reading the uh, court case for the hotel. That's not on this. That's in the town planner one as well. <clears throat> I'm sorry? Gonna, that's in the town planner one. I'm going to go there next. Oh, okay. Anything I'm else? Sorry. Just on correspondence. Okay. Okay. No? We're good? All right. So we're done with correspondence. Uh, then we'll move on to the town planner's report, and that includes the, <coughs> the hotel. Anna? Well, <laughs> I'll let Ms. Mr. Fowler, go first. All right, Mr. Fowler, your question? No, or comment, no, I'm sorry. No, my comment is I think um, the lawyers for our side and the town planner have done a great job presenting our case because uh, it was appealed by the party across the street. And it, it's an interesting thing, but I won't go into it someday over a cocktail. Maybe I'll tell you about. <laughs> that same company, I mean, same uh, homeowner, appealed the south, the north station when it was being built. Just think right. about that. A anyone else? Um, but my comment is, I think they've done everything, and I guess the last thing I heard was uh, the judge was just going to act on, or Lanco was going to act on uh, the traffic. And there didn't appear to be any traffic <clears throat> problems. Yeah, I mean, everybody. that seems to be what this summary is, you know, that this one is mostly discussing. Um, so that it, looks, to me, it looks positive. Yeah. If anybody else have any comments on this one? Yeah, Mr. Chairman, I was just, uh, I had heard through the grapevine that the um, the applicant uh, for the hotel has has withdrawn his interest in that. Any, any news to that? What grapevine? I haven't. Hmm. Grapevine on North Street. They withdrew. I that would haven't be surprising heard of because no, they just sure. finally finished. I think they were waiting so long. I'm not sure if they actually withdrew or not. But just a curiosity if anybody heard any news about that. I haven't heard anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, that, obviously that's up to them what they want to do with that. But in terms of you know thumbing through this, um, it, it had to have been fairly interesting. I mean, you look at the traffic consultant for the plaintiff side who. Mm. It's noted more than <laughs> once. Apparently, didn't read the bylaws, hadn't read our decision. Talk about being it, it, slapped. It, it stretches the 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 um, title of expert witness. I would think yeah, um, when you're not paid your when, when you haven't done any of those things. Yeah. But um, when so, you're not paid as a witness, you're still a witness. So we'll we'll see how that shakes out in its final. Um, and then I think the other thing is what cube spot. Yep. So. Um, in my town plans report, I um, sent a memo on CubeSmart. So I'm looking for guidance from the planning board on um, if the planning board will be doing a site visit. And secondly, um, in particular, the applicant, the property owner, is looking for guidance from the planning board in regards to the landscaping complaints. So in the packet is um, the information from the resident located 27 Commonwealth Ave, and then we also received a complaint from the resident located at 15 Commonwealth Ave. These both um, Lowell residents? I don't know where I am. They're yes. both on the Lowell side, yes. on the north side of the property. Okay. Now, I mean, we, I know, before we be, uh, just, just as a recap, like when we left this the last time, Did we, we, didn't we already say to do what they were going to do and then we were going to reevaluate it after they were, we're done? Extending the, we're, yes, that's correct. The and then, the yeah, so I received mm. this second complaint on, um, on Monday. And so that's why I'm just passing along to the planning board. <clears throat> so do we know, has he done all of what we said, you know, go ahead and do what you agreed you'd do? Is that all complete at this point? And there, um, this is complaints on top of that, or are these just ongoing? It's, no. it's ongoing, and um, I haven't personally gotten a chance this week to do a site visit, um, <clears throat> or last week. Um, but in your packet on the emails, um, there was the schedule of the work. Mm -hmm. So it's the email from 
that was forwarded from Jay Tillman April 5th, and at the last page of that document is the schedule. So according to that schedule, the sidewalk should be done, the landscaping, the asphalt, um, and the two different asphalt, um, the striping and scarf scarifying. So those should have been done. I haven't been able to get a chance to go out and visit. Um, the vinyl fencing is done. And then, um, yeah, so basically um, I'm looking for guidance from the planning board on this. The second resident was requesting that evergreens be placed along the north side in between the vinyl fencing and the abutters. In between, so, so between the fence and the building. So they want more of a... Between, well, it's kind of open for guidance from the planning board, but uh, Mr. Chairman, you know, along the north side, so. So if I'm, if just so I'm understanding, we're talking about, in you, these pictures we're seeing, we're talking about what goes along the backyards that are right there. Mm -hmm. okay. That's so my the interpretation pictures in the packet of it. that you see from the porch, I guess, is what would be, what they would be asking mm -hmm. about. Um, does anybody have any comments? Yeah, Mr. Chairman, I was at the, at the site today. And um, the fence comes right out to the sidewalk, and it, and, it, uh, and it does protect the resident on the Commonwealth Ave side, both properties are, that have complained. There's, there's, no, there's no heavy machinery there, which was noted by the, by the complaint on the site. Um, the pavement's all done, the striping's all done, the fence is, is all done. It's nicely painted as far as the doors, and, and the markings are done for the... Um, for the parking spots, there's black chain link fence around the south side of the property completely. The uh, dumpster is sectioned off completely as we as we like. The front is landscaped, the curbing is in place, um, and it looks great. The problem I have is I think this applicant that's complaining has some justice as far as uh, it not being uh, properly landscaped high enough to protect her from seeing the property or having some barrier there for her um, life and leisure at the property in Lowell, on Lowell. But um, I mean, it could, I think it could be, could be some issues there as far as doing it. But other than that, I mean, she lives in a commercial district. There's a commercial building next to her. I mean, um, there's nothing that we can do as far as, you know, taking that away from the property. It's a commercial building. So um, I've taken some pictures if people want to look at them. And it's pretty bare as far as the tree, tree line there, but you know, I don't think what she wants as far as putting up an entire row of arborvitaes that high <laughs> is necessary myself. So I don't think it's required. Yeah. I kept maybe a few to give us some, some barrier there, but I don't think it's a complete job. I mean, I think um, what's there is there. It'll grow out. There are some flowering plants in the front. So, I mean, uh, my opinion only, the board can do what we like, but. I think a few, maybe requesting them to put a few um, arborvitaes there, but it can't be on this side of the fence. It has to be on the other side of the fence because that, this side of the fence is completely all finished and, and, um, and uh, tarred and so forth. So, um, but the fence came out right, right where they said it was going to be. It came right out to the edge, right to the sidewalk. So, and then it blocks their, blocks their view from their yard. So, um, I mean, I think if nothing else. Maybe we request them to do a little bit of. A little more, couple more trees there, maybe a handful of trees there, but uh, nothing to what she's looking for, a full, a full line of uh, varieties, but that's my opinion, so. Okay. So Mr. Chairman, just to uh, clarify, um, both residents were looking for the varieties, right. the evergreens, so. Um, yeah. Uh, Mr. Fowler, anything? Sure. I like Mr. Fertalia's of this problem. I don't like the idea of putting a few abavites to satisfy one house when you've got seven houses on the side of the lot line. You put abavites to block the building from that one house. What's to say the other six aren't going to come back and say, well, we want them too. It wasn't part of the original plan. All the landscaping has been done based on the original plan. Um, 
you could communicate with uh, the owner and tell them the problem that you're hearing, but we're not going to demand that he do it. I'm not going to demand that he do it. Mr. Uh, thank you. Um, I'll have to agree with my colleagues. I mean, according to the pictures, this is, you know, pictures right now or in the last two or three weeks. Give another month or so, all these trees are going to be grown in on this particular property. Right. The one to the left, I mean, I, I see summer, spring, early fall, you probably wouldn't see, you'll have much shading in there. Uh, winter, um, but as stated, the uh, applicant met all of the required landscaping, you know, extended the fence uh, as asked. I feel it's a lot to ask. You're talking 30, 40 trees, arborvitaes along that entire row, because once you do one, the next neighbor and neighbor and neighbor all the way down until the edge of the road is going to request them. So that's my opinion. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, I was looking at more you know, spreading them out, not just putting a few in a couple of, a couple of the houses that are complaining, but spread them out down the, down the lot line, you know, and, and just to satisfy her request, but not as a complete barrier for her, her side and the next neighbor's side, because I don't think it's required. Those trees are going to grow in, like Mr. Ryder said, to a degree. I mean, all the <clears throat> lots are barren now because of the winter, but so unless we want to put it off and wait till it happens in well, July I, and August. We have a year. Yeah. in which we can respond to, you know, um, to uh, the growing of shrubs for and vegetation. So why don't we just, I would suggest that we wait to see a year from now. If there's something sticks out, then we'll address it then. But right now, everything has been done. Mr. Delaney, you have anything? No, I'm all set. I mean, it, you know, they've done a great job with what they've done. You know, how can you extend it more and make them pay more money for trees and stuff to satisfy one? I don't, I go along with my colleagues. I'm yeah. all set. I think in one of the pictures demonstrated, I think they're, this is what they're asking for. Mm -hmm. uh, Vin, I, I agree. It's you, you too know, much. That's, you, right. that's, that's 15 to 18 trees per lot. Right. So six houses, you mean? Mm -hmm. It's a lot of to grow in that, and then the, the downfall of the in about 10 years, they get top heavy, one bad storm, the, it's going to be looking for a replacement at that point. So, I, I guess to me, I, I, I sort of agree with what's one, you know, we know we, you know, we know where this is located. This is not, you know, something that suddenly went up in the middle of a residential, an all residential district. I mean, you are where you are. Um, you know, and at this point, with where the final fencing's in, and like you said, the paving, at this point, if they were to be installed, they'd have to be installed in the neighbor's yards mm -hmm. all the way down. They couldn't even go on the property owner's you know, side anyways. They'd have to be put on the, the resident side. Um, and I'm not really keen on getting into, you know, having a, one of our, you know, some of we've permitted to now have to go putting trees in on other people's property in another town. Thing. Um, when we weren't, we didn't ask for that to begin with. Um, plus, I, I mean, judging from them, these, I really don't think a sporadic placing of them is going to satisfy the ones that we're getting these letters from. I mean, it sounds like they're looking for a curtain down the entire length of so these two Steve, properties. See if I may, they on on the if you look at uh, the lot line, I believe their their fence is off. Uh, they did save a row of trees in between what their lot line in is the fence. So okay. they did, according to their plan submitted, they did leave a, you don't have a scale with me, but. Yeah, there's some footage there. Five or six feet, seven feet okay. of uh, treed area. Okay. Well, I mean, so I guess my, my thought process is still the same in terms of, I, I sort of agree with the, you know, once these are filled in, I mean, I, you know, the trees that are there are the trees that are there, and they just happen to be, you know, they're going to be filled in in spring, summer, fall. And not the winter. Yeah. I mean, unless somebody wants to go in and put up, you know, evergreens or whatever in that area, I, I just don't really see where you're going to get what they're looking for any other way. So I guess for now, I think, you know, I don't think we have any new guidance for the property owner at this point. Okay. Um, they can continue with what they've done and we'll, you know, continue from down to evaluate it over the, you know, our year process and see where we stand. 
we continue to keep the board. I have some picks here if anybody wants to take a look at it too. So keep, keep the board uh, um, informed of any you know, complaints that come in or comments or whatever. And we'll look at it again at some point. Okay. That sounds like the guidance the board wants to give for now. Absolutely. All right. So that takes care of the planners report. So that'll bring us to back up to agenda item D. Do I have a motion to put agenda item D back on the table? So moved. A motion made second. second. A motion made second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed, motion carries. Okay, so that brings us back to our executive session. So as I understand it, in order to move into the executive session, and again, just to remind everybody at home, we're gonna do our executive session. It won't be live, um, but when we're done, we'll come back, but we'll only be coming back to adjourn the meeting. So there won't be anything further once we come back. Uh, my understanding is I have to take a roll call for uh, moving into exec executive session. Uh, Mr. Ryder? Here. Would, no, are you in favor of yes. executive session? Mr. Fowler? Yes. Okay. Someone has to make the motion, motion, though. I'm sorry. Do that after the motion. Sorry. So do I have a motion to make go a motion to go into executive session? Okay. Do I have a second? Yes. Motion made and seconded. Mm -hmm. Now, for the roll call, I'm sorry. Mr. Ryder? Yes. All right. Mr. Fowler? Yes. Mr. Delaney, I'm yes. sorry, oh, Mr. Fataya, and chair votes aye as well. So with that, we will move into executive session, and we'll, uh, we'll cut the live feed. <laughs>